and presented by Asia Ward, Alan Kovach, Andrew Rivitzer, Avery Gordon, Konstantin Lazarvin. Are you ready for some fun and engaging material? Meet Bob Belcher. He's the main character in our show and the founder slash owner of the restaurant Bob's Burgers. Bob is a family man that has family values. He is always there to take care of and nurture his kids. Bob tries to be a business guy and follows ethical business practices. He's a great cook and understands the food and service aspects of running a restaurant, but needs help when it comes to the business side and management side of running a business. Some months he struggles to make ends meet and pay the rent for his restaurant. Personality-wise, Bob is not very outgoing and rarely cracks a good joke. Next, we have Linda Belcher. Linda is Bob's wife and works in the restaurant every day. She is very supportive of their kids and supportive of Bob loving all ideas he has for the restaurant no matter how bad it is. Linda is always in a good mood and wants to make everyone happy. She also is a rock of the family, keeping a balance of work and family time for everyone. The first of the Belcher children is their oldest daughter, Tina. Tina is a teenager going through typical teenage life. Her parents try to put some of the bigger responsibilities on her when she works at the restaurant. But Tina is scared of management and responsibility. Her social skills make her a bad server in the restaurant. She is very awkward and antisocial. Tina also is boy crazy at school and usually has trouble talking to them and often gets friend zone. Jean, Belcher's middle child, is quite opposite of Tina. He is extroverted and very cheerful. Jean aspires to be a musician as he has several instruments and also enjoys magic. He's very charismatic, but also a prankster. Gene wants to do the marketing for the restaurant and be the mascot. He enjoys making tunes and loves coming up with ideas for the restaurant, but they are usually pretty bad. Gene is also very disorganized and messy like a typical boy. Lastly, he has a close relationship with both of his sisters and protects them like a big, big brother Next, would. Next we have Louise Belcher, who is the youngest of the bunch. She has a great sense of humor and likes to manipulate her siblings. She likes to be the leader of her siblings and the kids at school. Louise is smart and ambitious, creative and determined, and usually pretty outgoing. Louise typically has the best ideas for the restaurant or a set plan. She is very mature for her age and likes to show people she's in charge. This is Bob's enemy, Jimmy Pesto Sr. Jimmy owns the pizzeria across the street and is Bob's biggest competitor. He is known for cutting corners and has a bully mentality, and is money hungry. He's unfriendly and usually doesn't have any good relations with customers like the Belchers do. Pesto also likes to brag about his success and accomplishments. Lastly, Jimmy Pesto is pretty good with his restaurant, but he does not have ethical business. Following Pesto Sr. is his son Jimmy Pesto Jr. He is Tina's crush at school, but their father's rivalry keeps them from having a mutual interest in each other at the same time. He enjoys dancing, even though his father always yells at him. He helps out in his dad's restaurant, but usually does not have input towards running it. Teddy. Good old Teddy. Teddy is a talker and a loyal customer at Bob's Burgers. Personality wise, he tries to please people and impress them. He has been trying to impress his ex-wife for years. Teddy has a close relationship with the Belcher family and adores all the kids as if they were his own. He tries to give advice when it comes to the restaurant and running a business, but it usually is bad advice. The purpose of this project is to create a plot and a story that relates to various men we will show our understanding of these concepts by correctly demonstrating them in the show. The creation of our characters, storylines, and themes are based on management principles, so we will put them into action. In our story, Bob and his family will face challenges while also having positive experiences running the restaurant. They will be presented in good and bad management scenes. The first episode of our show takes us through an introduction of everything. Our characters, location, the restaurant, rival businesses, etc. Doing so will give each of our characters their traits and role in their place of work, in the community, and in their family. We will also present the overall operation structure of Bob Burgers and how it uses its resources.
first episode only covers a couple managerial concepts and topics. The biggest is the topic managerial roles. Bob, Linda, and Jimmy Pesto all display managerial roles, such as monitoring role, resource allocator, and entrepreneurial roles. They all conform to the entrepreneurial role, being sometimes of an owner and starter of their business. They don't have to be considered these roles just in a business. Linda plays a monitor role at home, also as she watches and takes care of the kids. Bob also has little business skills, but one job of his is to be a resource allocator. This means he runs the process of assigning and managing assets in a manager that supports the restaurant's strategic goals. In a restaurant, being a resource allocator also includes managing tangible assets such as grills, chairs, tables, food inventory, and cooking machines and utensils to make the best use of softener assets such as a happy and loyal customer. The second episode of the show is where our storyline starts. Bob's Burgers has a sudden, unforeseen decrease in business after an occurrence. The health department had recently been in and closed the restaurant for two days due to mold on the ceiling. Jimmy Pesto Sr. and his restaurant across the street saw this and decided to hold a special one night. And of course, this ends up being a huge success. Bob and Linda secretly attended, and while dancing, they noticed mold on the wall. The next morning, Bob wakes up and goes to Bob's Burgers, noticing Pesto's Pizzeria has been closed with a health warning on the door. Bob holds a family meeting to discuss how their restaurant can take advantage of this. In this episode, we present some managerial values that Bob possesses and uses, as well as competitive advantages. One managerial value we see Bob show is his cooperation with the restaurant shutting down. He's a good sport about it, he respects the health department, and fixes the problem. This also helps him maintain and continue building a relationship with the people from the department. Another value we see is planning and organization. When the rival across the street is closed, they start planning for a way to capitalize from this and maybe gain some of Pesto's customers. Speaking of the rival, Jimmy Pesto came up with a competitive advantage with Bob's Burgers being closed. He took advantage of that by creating a special deal and a special night to attract what could have been Bob's customers for a night that they all seemed to enjoy. In doing this, Pesto was hoping to gain some of Bob's loyal customers. In episode 3, Bob's Burgers reopens while Pesto's across the street stays closed for two whole days. After the first family meeting, they decided that they would have some sort of promotion, kind of like Pesto did while they were closed. The Belchers then have one last family meeting to plan out everything that they need to do. Together, they all decided to have a half-off deal for the special burger. Once a week, they do a burger of the week, which is a cool burger that Bob tries to make spectacular with a cool name. This week, the burger is a mac and cheese burger. The promotion was a success and they captured three times the amount of normal customers. A lot of them were even Pesto's customers that say they eat pizza almost every day.
Episode three features two very important managerial concepts. The first one is ethical management decisions. When Pesto's restaurant closes, Bob makes an ethical decision to have a promotion that is fair and equal to his competitor. He doesn't want to start a bad relationship with a rival because then it could backfire and Bob Burgers would lose in the end. Keeping all of that in mind, Bob chooses a morally correct approach to solve his dilemma. The second managerial concept that we see is integrated differentiation cost. This is a business level strategy where differentiated projects are offered in market at low cost. For Bob, this is his burgers. However, Bob does this on his own products with the deal specials that he creates. Making the unique mac and cheese burger differentiates from his regular burgers so that they will attract some different people's taste buds. And then on top of that, at the half off low price, it is offered in the market even cheaper. Putting all of that together, you have something that will attract a lot of people and provide a great delicious meal.